Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to talk today about how we are planning for the next year of homeschool. So we have decided, actually my learner requested, um, they enjoyed homeschool so much that they asked to continue to do homeschool this next year. So we are planning on doing fourth grade homeschool um, regardless of what our local school district does, which at this point it's looking like um, the schools will be open and offering um, regular classes and hours and everything like it was uh, pre-2020. So, um, but we are going to homeschool for this next year. So when we went to start planning what is next year going to look like, um, I went through four steps and I'm just going to kind of break those down for you guys now. Hopefully you find this helpful. If you have other strategies that you use or things that I've missed from my checklist, please feel free to let me know. So the first thing I did was review how this year went. This was our first year homeschooling. And when I initially went with curriculum, I was looking for curriculum that was pretty much all in one um, because I wasn't sure how much time and energy I would have to put towards uh, adjusting or adapting or adding or putting together curriculum or lessons. So we went for some all in one packages. Um, so this year I wanted to uh, review, okay, what worked really well for us, what didn't work as well for my learner and for me, and what did we still have left to do. So for us, one of the, uh, the package curriculum that came with the books and everything we got moving beyond the page, um, due to high demand, we didn't get everything until uh, about halfway through the year, we had started some of it, but then it moves at a really fast pace compared to the amount of hours that we were spending in our homeschool day. So we still have several units left that we can cover and the age range is still appropriate and skill level is still appropriate for my learner. So we actually still have that left. We also have a couple of topics from Blossom and Root language arts um, that we didn't get to, but I thought were good books that we would like to cover in the future. So we have some things that worked well for us and that we didn't finish. So we're going to continue to use some of those things in the next year. Step two was to basically uh, assess or reassess my learner. Now that we had gone through a year and we've been tweaking things throughout this year, um, but now that we've gone through a year, what worked really well for my learner? What are my learner's strengths? Where might there be some gaps in their skill set that we'd want to focus on and what are the ways in which they learn best so we have gotten into a good routine i feel like for my learner um, we need to do hands-on products um, projects um, hands-on activities even if they're related to the language arts or the social studies or the science the hands-on piece is really what keeps my learner engaged and um and it's fun and they enjoy it a lot more um writing is difficult so i'd like to focus more on writing and then we did not cover anything really that was specific to history per se and so that is an area that we would like to cover um this coming year uh, local uh, native history as well as our country and state history um and maybe maybe touching upon some world history um, as it relates to some of those things. We did this year cover um, some ancient civilizations and talk about changes um, in cultures over time. And so we did introduce some of the major time periods, um, but we want to focus on more U.S. history and local native history because uh, native and state history, because um, that's what they cover in public school in third and fourth grade. So we're going to try and make sure that we are covering similar topics, but in a different way. 
Uh, the third step was to set some goals. Um, and I kind of just <laughs> talked about those. We want to uh, introduce history and talk more specifically about history. So that's a goal. What topics should we cover? Um, we want to focus a bit more on writing so that we can continue to build that skill. And uh, we also have some other things um, that we think would be fun, like some uh, problem solving, logic, creativity. I'm still figuring out how we're going to address those things, but this is an area that I'd like to cover. Um, when we're thinking about what we want to cover, what goals we want to set for the next year, um, also looking at what electives my learner is interested in. Um, this past year, one of the things that my learner really wanted to do was learn about dinosaurs and do lots of science experiments. So we did those things. So are there other things that my learner is interested in at the moment that we can incorporate as, you know, small little units or electives or um, build it in in some way? Some of those things uh, right now are um, inventions which is where we're kind of going with the problem solving and creativity and logic puzzle thing is to um, build those problem solving skills and continue to foster that creativity um something else that my learner would like to do is a uh, more physical activity interested in getting into some sort of a, a group sport or group lessons um, we're looking into what our options are going to be this fall um, but that's an elective that we are looking to incorporate especially considering we haven't had a lot of group opportunities for the last year so we definitely want to take advantage of any group learning or social activities this next year um, the other thing to consider when we're setting, um, when I'm talking about setting goals, is figuring out what our timeline is. When are we looking to start? When are we looking to end? Um, how frequently are we going to be doing school? Uh, this year, we ended up with uh, four days a week um, with about four hours each day. Um, and that was what we spent uh, for our school time. Um, I'm thinking that it will probably look somewhat similar to that, though, depending upon some of those group opportunities, um, we might adjust the schedule around those because those are a priority for us. Another thing that I consider when I'm looking at curriculum is how specific topics are covered in that curriculum. So for example, topics that might be controversial or could be presented in different ways, I look to make sure that the curriculum that I select is presenting that from the perspective or with the information that best aligns with how I want to teach my learner. For us, that means that we select science curriculum that includes evolution and that we are looking at US history that includes black indigenous and people of color and their experiences and not just the white focused uh, US history that I was taught as a kid. The third thing that I consider when checking out the curriculum is how much instructor involvement is there going to need to be um, versus how much is it independent work. So we have learned over this year that my learner can be independent with math, um, independent with the Spanish lessons. Those are things that are online. The systems that we are using work very well for my learner. Um, and that there are some other um, grammar tasks that my learner can be independent with. But when we come down to some of the main lessons with language arts, um, reading and comprehension, uh, science and social studies, those topics are going to be things that require an adult to help teach that content. Um, what I am looking for is uh, whether or not that matches, the curriculum matches with how I know my learner learns best, um, but also how much prep work, how much pulling things together am I going to have to do in order to make this uh, curriculum work for my family. 
So those are the four things that I considered when I'm planning for our next year. Um, I want to review this year and see how it went. I want to assess my learner and reflect on what works well and what gaps we might have. I want to set some goals as to what I want to accomplish the next year, what subjects want to be we want to teach, or maybe what subjects we have to teach. Um, and then I want to check out the curriculum with some specific questions in mind as I go through the curriculum to make sure that it's the right choice for me. So let me know if you have other things that you consider when you're planning your next year. I'd love to hear them. Thanks.